Hi everybody, my name is Tom Solid. I'm the founder of the Paperless Movement and I welcome you back if you're one of my community. If you're new, watch this video and check out if it is helpful for you and join our journey to go paperless together. Today I will talk about a new feature. I think that is just awesome, yeah? It is the Siri integration into Node Shelf 2. To show you this, I have to open a new notebook, or I will now open a new notebook. So um, let's just call this test, it's easy. And once this notebook is created, I can obviously start writing, okay, as usual. Okay, now comes the beauty. If you go on the top left, corner there and press the gear button there it is add to Siri as soon you press this one this picture will open and you can say open test for example but it doesn't matter what you say so you can record you 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 talking now like open test and it is recorded and what this makes now if I go just back to the, the main screen I just ask Siri so I'm just saying hey Siri open test and there you go and if you go back to the home screen this works as well this this means you know if you're using Apple notes and that you just have to tap on the start screen with your Apple pencil a new note will open so you don't have to go into the app, open notebook and so on. So there's no interruption. Now we have the same thing with NodeShelf 2. You, you just say open test, for example, and it will open your notebook straight away and you can just start writing. This is awesome. So if you go to the settings section and you scroll on the top, by the way, usually you see this and you, if you go to top, you can search. So it is much easier to see, uh, to find things in there. So you can just go to the node shelf options. You have the Siri and search function. Just go in there and there you see search suggestion shortcuts allow on lock screen that is also allowed when it's locked and then use with Siri. And then you go in, into shortcuts and there you are. You can also add create a new notebook. Sometimes you don't want to open your already uh, available notebooks. So here you can just create a new notebook. So let's make this create new notebook. And there you go. And as soon we go out there, you can do this from the lock screen as well. I just can't show you this because the recording would stop now. So create new notebook. And there we are. We just start writing. Isn't this awesome? And to, you know, to make a pre-designed notebook that the way you want, I think it makes the quick create thing on top right corner here. So you, if you press the, the gear and make default paper, it says here portrait, okay? So we can just make change this to landscape and to whatever we want and not a random cover, but we also want to choose, it should be always, I don't know, orange. And that's it. And then now when we make click quick create, it will make an orange cover and it will make a new notebook. So let's test if this also happens when I say the shortcut now. Create new notebook. And there we go, orange and the paper we wanted. This is awesome, isn't it? I, I think many of you out there are excited at the moment and really want to get the hands on Node Shelf 2 now. And I also have to say, there are so many new features. You maybe realize that I have a dark mode here. It is now available. There's the dark mode for Node Shelf 2. So usually you have these different things and now you have the dark mode as well. So um, your Node Shelf here, your Node Shelf, is also in dark now so that's that's a new advantage but the most exciting thing and I'm here in the beta phase of Node Shelf 2 at the moment is the handwriting they improve the handwriting it is lightning fast now lightning fast unbelievable fast really and uh, that was always the bottleneck for me um, when it comes to NodeShelf 2, because compared to Notability and GoodNotes, the, the, the writing was a little bit laggy. Oh, 
not a little bit, it was recognizable leggy. So now they improved the handwriting and it is really nice. So you can be happy once this update comes out and you get this handwriting because this is awesome. And I promise you, in the near future, I will do a video dedicated for Nodeshelf 2 because since the release in back in, 2000, in 2017, they published so many major updates. I have to show you all the unique features Nodeshelf 2 has to offer. If you're not already, subscribe to this channel to stay tuned once this video comes out and I see you next time.